For next big story, state police arrest more than a dozen Rhode Islanders in a massive drug bust. And one powerful drug that was taken off the streets is responsible for several deaths across the region. Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright for our next big story. The arrests are the result of a two-month-long investigation into heroin dealers in northern Rhode Island. Police officers shaking each other's hands after a successful investigation that took several suspected drug dealers off the streets. This operation is only one piece of the puzzle in an effort to reduce the number of opioid deaths in Rhode Island. 14 Rhode Islanders arrested, all charged with selling, possessing, and distributing heroin. They were arraigned yesterday in district court. The youngest is 19, the oldest 48. Having six of these defendants held without bail will certainly stop the selling of drugs by these individuals alone. And the court's intervention on the seven others should give pause to those who want to sell this poison to the people of our state. During the investigation, undercover detectives bought heroin on 25 separate occasions. They seized hundreds of grams of heroin, most of which tested positive for the powerful synthetic drug fentanyl. Fentanyl is 80 to 100 times stronger than heroin. Street name is known as China White. Opioid deaths have skyrocketed in recent years. Last year in Rhode Island, there were 239 overdose deaths. It's a huge problem. And again, what is, seems to be happening is people that buy heroin, some of them may not know there's fentanyl in the heroin, and they're expecting a certain amount of high, and their body's used to a certain amount of heroin, and the fentanyl is too strong and it's killing a lot of these people. Police say the arrests will not solve the overdose problem, but they hope the arrests send a message to drug addicts. Go to those recovery centers, see if you can get help, try to get educated. State police say more arrests are certain to come, possibly even as early as today or tomorrow. I'm Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.